Well, I have been using the M1 MacBook Air for about four and a half months now and here is my full review. Welcome everyone, my name is Jay aka Tech Hype. If you are new here, I keep on doing these type of stuff. If you are into Apple content, consider hitting that subscribe button. And now that you have done that, let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time. All right, first of all, we are going to talk about the build quality of MacBook Air M1. The build quality of this thing is just spectacular. Not gonna lie, I have managed to drop this thing quite a few times by now. And it has survived, surprisingly, because those drops were really harsh yes i managed to put in two three dents on my mac but except for those those pretty minor dents the macbook air seems to be really well built and i am really confident enough to shove it into my bag without any problem that this thing will manage to scratch or the functionality of this thing will be damaged if i will drop it or manage to just throw my bag uh, like uh, on the flow and my laptop will be cracked or damaged except for some cosmetic damages you will not have any problem with your macbook getting dropped or anything this thing is a tank no cap though you know what it would be really darn amazing if apple in the future will introduce a stainless steel edition of macbook air or pro whatever i gonna get that but it's gonna be heavy Anyways, now talking about the elephant in the room, which is no, no, not me. It is the M1 chip in the MacBook Air, which does all the magic. And because of the M1 chip, this thing is a beast and will remain a beast for quite a long time. So the variant that I have is the base model with 256 GB of storage. 8 core cpu 7 core gpu and i have not had any single problem with it while purchasing i was like let me just upgrade the ram real quick but when i was upgrading the ram i think it was also automatically upgrading the storage too and you know apple charge a lot for storage so i ain't gonna invest even a penny on apple upgrade my storage they charge a lot for storage we all know that and especially the fact that i'm in india they gonna charge even more for like double the storage i am getting which is the next 512 GB model I ain't gonna get that no way I would rather buy Samsung SSDs which are really darn fast and slim you can keep them in pocket like in your jeans and it won't even be visible I mean until you put in your hand and take it out the M1 chip is really really efficient I have been running the Mac OS 12 beta on my MacBook and it runs flawlessly I have had little to no issues on my MacBook running Mac OS 12 the M1 chip is really darn efficient even after installing a beta I always manage to have my battery at like 50 or 60 percent by the end of the day and the day i'm talking about in my day i have like uh, an hour or two hours of editing on final cut pro also researching on firefox or chrome for about an hour or two so about four to six hours of usage my usage is four to six hours daily i'm not even counting the online classes that i take on my macbook i'm just talking about the productive and the of stuff the overall screen on time that i managed to get on my macbook is about 12 hours of my normal editing routine and online classes doing all that i have managed to end my day about if i have all the online classes and all i managed to still end my day at 30 percent which is really big deal you know because the i5 dell laptop that i had earlier that thing used to get really really warm and used to drop to zero percent like before even finishing my online classes which are which is off like two hours you see it is mad and that laptop was 16 inch so the battery size the physical capacity of battery was twice as big as my macbook air overall the m1 chip is really really amazing and m1 is the reason that i bought the macbook air m1 by the way this is my first macbook so as so i was basically lifetime windows user before i switched to this macbook 
MacBook. Up in the iCard here or here, I have no clue where the iCard is, but you can click above and uh, watch that video. My experience, my first impression after switching to a Mac from Windows. And now that I've got the hang of using a Mac, I really, really love it. And not gonna lie, if you are the one who is considering buying a Mac, because there are a lot of Windows users who switch to M1 MacBooks, it's been an year that they are out and there have been a lot of people who switched to the Mac and were using Windows earlier. I am I am an example in front of you, come on. I never thought I would ever switch to Mac because always I thought that it is just boring and it is just not as good and as creative as Windows because Windows lets you do a lot of things that is not possible on Mac. But now that I'm using the Mac and now that I have all the workarounds to make all the stuff that I was doing on my Windows possible on my Mac, man, I just love this thing a lot. Talking about the display quality, you know what? In my entire life, I have never seen a laptop display this good. Those are not even close to the color accuracy and the sharpness that MacBook's display provide. They are just amazing. And also, by the way, if you are considering buying a MacBook, even an Intel one, listen, if you manage to break the display, Apple gotta charge you a lot. So let's take care of that display. I'm just saying because one of my friend while unboxing his MacBook dropped and I don't know how, but he managed to break the display. And man, Apple charged him quite a bit <laughs> and especially if you are in india they charge a lot here okay so talking about the things that i really really hate about the macbook air m1 and and it is not just with the macbook air it is with the pro and all it is with all of the macbooks they have limited ios like obviously everything have limited ios but the amount of ports you get is mad just two ports now yes i know a lot of cameras do have usb c port but the camera that i use do not have usb c port and it is really frustrating to just take out the sd card bring in the dongle by the way i use this dock here i really like it this dock is really darn amazing and uh, this dock provides me all the ports that i need i have all the usb and usb a big sd card and all those ports also not only that i have i also have two usb c ports that's pretty darn sick you know not to forget this sdmi how can you forget that? All in all, MacBook Air M1 is a really darn amazing deal. Especially right now, after all these deals that are out right now, MacBook Air, you can find one in India, you can find one, the base model, at about 70,000 rupees, which is really, really cheap, not gonna lie, because I got mine for 90,000, which is a lot, you know. And at that time, we had no discounts when I bought this one, so I kind of feel scammed. Ah, pain. Now that I'm on Final Cut Pro, this thing is so damn user-friendly. Final Cut Pro is really user-friendly, really darn fluid on M1 Max now, and also, not to forget, there are a lot of bugs too, but you know, I'm on a beta software, so I, I have no rights to complain about it. Anyways, now talking about the final verdict, is it worth buying the MacBook Air M1 right now? If you are considering buying one, is it worth buying? Well, the answer is yes. Let me explain why I'm saying this. Number one, trackpad and keyboard. The trackpad and keyboard experience that you will get when you buy a MacBook, regardless of any new MacBook that Apple is selling right now, even the Intel ones, just please don't buy them by the way because the M1X ones are right around the corner and please, please don't buy them. Stop buying them. People are still buying them and making unboxings on YouTube, bro. Don't buy Intel ones, but even if you will buy, you, suppose you got a really great deal from on eBay and you bought one, the experience of keyboard and trackpad on MacBooks that you are gonna get is bonkers. It's amazing. Like, trust me when I say it is amazing. It is one hell of an experience. The force touch trackpad on MacBooks is just so damn amazing. Like, I can obviously talk about it and say that this is good and all, but uh, it comes down to the user. When you will use it, 
Man, I I'm pretty sure you will be addicted to the trackpad of MacBooks. Not to forget, the M1 MacBooks now come with Magic Keyboard. Yes! Not that butterfly keyboard those are in the MacBook Pros, 16-inch MacBook Pros and all. Not those ones. Actually, Magic Keyboard. The normal ones. The early 2020 ones, uh, Intel MacBook Air, I remember it was the i3 and i5 ones. That Those early 2020 models, it is worth getting this thing. This thing literally never gets warm. Well, that was false, but it does get warm. But only while you are exporting videos or something. And that too, it barely gets warm. Not even up to a point where, uh, where my, when I used to open my Dell laptop and uh, open chrome then type in youtube.com those two fans start spinning and uh, man th that thing used to get really really warm not even that the macbook pro 16 inch my brother have one and that thing also gets warm quite a bit compared to a macbook air how how crazy is that i'm comparing a 16 inch macbook pro to a macbook air who in the world would thought that a MacBook Air would manage to be better than the MacBook Pro? At the end of the day, the MacBook Air M1 is a really darn amazing computer. It is worth your hard-earned money. I'm pretty sure and right now in the studio here, you you see me in the studio, the, the MacBook Air M1 is the most valuable thing that I have. Even, even more than this camera that I'm shooting right now, even more than this mic even more than this light even more than this whole studio no actually that was cap but anyways you got the point right thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you did enjoy this video consider hitting that like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like these and peace out <laughs>